Hi beauties, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to talk to you guys about some products that I've been reviewing and trying out that were sent to me and it is from the company called Gold Elements. So if you guys would like to hear my thoughts and my review and my opinions, keep on watching. Okay, so the company Gold Elements reached out to me and asked if I wanted to try out some of their products. And I said yes, because I know gold is like a big thing right now in the beauty industry. It's probably been out, obviously, a long time, but it kind of uh, re-entered big time in the beauty community. At least for me, it seems to be because I'm seeing it everywhere in all kinds of stuff, you know, in some uh, makeup powders and uh, cleansers and moisturizers and face masks and everything so I thought I'd go ahead and give it a try now they did tell me it was a luxury luxury brand uh, gold elements you know they are a luxury brand and which um, in all honesty yes they are a very luxury brand and when I'm talking luxury brand, I'm talking, if you're familiar with La Mer and how much their products are, if you don't, I can tell you some of their products range from, they do have some products that range around $30 and $50 range, but I, I most of them seem to be their body, like uh, stuff for the body or the nails. Um, these are mostly all for your face and products for your face. Uh, a lot of them can range anywhere close to um, about $100, like a little over $100 and up. And when I'm talking up, I'm talking some of them can be $300, some can be $400. And if you go in their truffle line, you're talking thousands. And so just kind of give you an idea you know, of how much some of these products are going to cost. I mean, and let's be honest here. Um, I know most people aren't going to be able to afford these kind of products. And I understand that because I myself am a person on a budget. So honestly, for me to be able to afford these products myself, it would probably have to be on QVC or HSN, if anything, if, you know, if it's something I want to purchase and they'd have to be on easy pay. That's probably about the only way I'd be able to get them because, you know, it's, it's just not in my budget. So I do understand there's probably going to be some people, you know, but if you want to stick around and still hear my thoughts on the products and everything, by all means, you know, you could stick around because I do try to do for everybody. I know there is some people that love La Mer. I know several beauties that I follow and who are subscribed to me purchase La Mer. So I know there is some people out there obviously that, that do, are able to afford these products and purchase them and it is in their budget or they don't mind spending it, you know. So I, I try to be all over the place for everybody. The three products I ended up sending me was the first one is an age treatment moisturizing cleansing oil. I wish I'd have brought the boxes with me because I did say the boxes. The packaging I was very impressed with. So is the um, containers that they're in. And this, this is glass. This isn't plastic. This isn't anything like that. These are pretty much all glass containers and they, they do look really nice. So I have to say, Setting on your counter, it does look very, you know, elegant, very classy, luxurious as, you know, the products are. Other products they sent me were two eye, two products for the eye area. This one's an age treatment, age treatment eye serum. This is the eye serum. And then this is the uh, eye treatment eye cream. There's an eye cream. Okay, so... What I've uh, been trying to read up on about gold is historians uh, have claimed and said that, you know, Cleopatra used gold a lot in her regimen and I guess even used like some sort of a gold mask, you know, like whether that's, you know, true or here and there, you know, uh, but historians have mentioned about that. A lot of people um, had talked about uh, gold 
you know, in skincare for a very, very long time, obviously, if we're talking Cleopatra days. And then I guess in Rome, gold was used a lot, uh, as in for treatments for uh, certain skin problems or something like that. So a lot of Gold has been around, I guess, been used a long time from what I'm understanding and what from what I'm reading. I have done some research because I was trying to find out more about gold and skincare. And I know there's some people, uh, I have seen articles and heard other people saying, you know, it's good for you. It's bad for you. Um, it's just like all over the wall. So I'm going to try and help you out into what I found out. And I still would say, do your own research and everything to, you know, because because each of us are different in how we feel about a product. Let me go ahead and explain a little bit about the products and if I seen anything, if they did anything for me and if they did what, you know, just that kind of thing. And then we'll go into more a little bit about, you know, like what I've kind of understood about gold, so a little more research. Okay, so the cleanser, the cleansing oil, moisturizing cleansing oil. When I first put, used this, I'm going to be honest, I didn't like it at first, but I ended up, I discovered I was using it wrong, which I don't know why. I think a lot of times I'll assume I'm like one of the people that think I know how to use a product because I've used it many times. So I know what I'm doing. I know how to use it. And that wasn't the case with this because when I first used it and I was putting it on my face, I was like, like it, it felt like it left a film on my face and I, I just wasn't liking it. It was like, what in the heck? You know, like, wow. Cause this product here, I think it's like, um, one of the ones that's like 120 some dollars and you know, so that's a steep price. And for me to come on here and say, you know, yeah, this is a great product or whatever, you know, honestly on the containers themselves, probably on the box, I can't even remember cause I'd have to look, I think it has how to, um, apply the products and then on their site as well, they have how to apply their products which I can tell you, uh, their products are considered paraben free, cruelty free uh, products. I use like just one whole pump. I'm just gonna use like a little bit there. And it, can you see the gold pearl? There you go. You can see the golden pearl to it. What it tells you to do is to take it and do it in circular motion all over on your face. So that's the one thing I was doing wrong was you're supposed to take it and do it all in circular uh, motion. It does have a perfume scent to it. I do know a lot of the products have, it does have gold powder. I know gold, that's where the gold comes into play. It has gold powder. Some of them have aloe vera, almond oil, just hyaluronic acid and all that kind of stuff. And those are some of the, uh, there's like some oils and different things in them. So you can see I have it all rubbed in and everything. And then after that, you take a little bit of water, massage it in with the water. Now it says it turns into a milk, milk-like substance. Uh, the only thing I can figure with that when it does say that is it feels, it feels like milky. It doesn't like look white and milky when you're massaging it in. So don't expect to see uh, any, you know, like white foam or white milky look or anything like that. It's, I think the texture kind of feels like of a milk milk texture. If removing the makeup, it did pretty good. Around the eyes, mm, I had to struggle a little bit around the eyes. I'll be honest. I, I did struggle a little bit around the eyes. I felt like I, uh, but mostly a lot of times when I do my cleanser, I do use the micellar water afterwards anyway, no matter what cleanser, just to make sure the eye makeup is fully removed and all the other makeup is fully removed. It does feel really nice on the skin. It did feel really soft. I did see a glow. I feel like the glow sometimes can come probably from the gold powder that's in there. That's my 
guess, and I'm pretty sure that's most of everybody's guess too. I think that's where the glow, glowiness comes from is the gold itself. Obviously when we have gold on, you know, it reflects, it's shiny, it's, you know. I actually really liked using it more in the morning time. I didn't really get into it much at night. I, I don't really use it all that much to remove my makeup. I have another product that I feel works a little bit better than that. But eye products, the eye serum and the eye cream. The eye serum, it to me, it is so velvety smooth when you put this product on. On their site, it does kind of say for best results to use both of these together. That's um, kind of what I'm seeing on there. Now, I'm going to be totally honest. I see a difference. I do see a difference. I'm not going to, I'm not going to lie. I'm not, you know, cause like these are pricey products and you know, but I did see a difference and where I saw the difference was, uh, my lines, like it's so much more softer. I don't have the puffiness, like the darkness, like I don't have really dark circles, but of what I had is extremely diminished. I mean, right now I do have some makeup on, so I'm going to be honest on that part. I do have uh, makeup on that's making my eyes look brighter. I, I don't know if you guys can see, but it is much more smooth all in through here. And even here, like I don't have makeup on right now, but it is so much more smoother there. Now again, for the brightness, it could come from the gold in there, you know, the gold powder and giving you that luminous, nice look there because I have to say it did look more brighter and more, you know, it looked, re it looked really great. I know they have some other products in here, so it could be one of the other products that's maybe doing the job more so. And I do understand when companies have prices, they do. Sometimes, you know, for a lot of them, it is because of the ingredients that go in there and, you know, it can be pretty expens expensive for the ingredients that they're putting in here. So I do get that. I do understand that. I'm, I'm going to read to you uh, what it does have here of what gold uh, can do for you. Gold does not only give you a beautiful, glowing, and youthful skin, but it's uh, beneficial in many ways. It slows down the collagen uh, depletion. It increases the skin's elasticity. Uh, it lightens the skin's complexion. It stimulates the uh, cell cells, making the skin firm, improves uh, blood circulation, and prevents premature aging. Gold is used in uh, medicine a lot. I know I have read up on that where um, a lot of uh, doctors do inject people with um, gold, uh, not, not straight up, but I think the gold nanoparticles or people have been very, very afraid on, on some of that kind of stuff. And I do know they inject them with gold. It's been used for different forms of medicine like that. I did see some of the articles, some were saying not 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 good for you. It will eventually cause more wrinkles. You know, diabetes was involved in there somewhere or something like that. There's just like a lot of things out there. And then I was looking at the parts that I told you there that what gold can do for you and the benefits that it's supposed to give you and everything. I felt very overwhelmed and I'm sure a majority of you guys are probably going to feel overwhelmed with it. And I was doing my own uh, research. Uh, I talked to the company themselves and they sent me some information, which I was reading some of it to you. And then I also went to a, a skin specialist, a doctor myself, who I do, I won't give their name, but they're well known out there. And I'm not going to give their name because, you know, I promised them I wouldn't. And then just for their own benefit itself. But I did, I do respect their opinion and all that kind of stuff. So I thought I'm going to talk to them too and ask them what they think about gold. I messaged them and I thought I'll wait and see if I didn't hear from them. I'll just go from what my perspective of the whole thing is. And they confirmed my whole perspective to be what I thought. And, you know, that is gold is not good nor is it bad. 
So, you know, I, I feel like, I mean, there's, there's not enough studies, what I'm understanding. And when I asked the question, that's exactly what they told me was there, it's not good, nor is it bad. And pretty much there's nothing out there that really states that shows um, scientific proof of either way that it's bad or good. We do have, uh, you know, Google now where you can search things and you're going to see the goods and the bads from anything and everything on there. So I think you have to go by what your feeling is on it. Like if you're somebody already that was a little iffy on, on using anything with gold in it, you know, by all means, you know, I wouldn't say go ahead and get it. You know, if, if you're that uncomfortable, I wouldn't say do it or take it or try it or anything like that. If you're uncomfortable, then the best thing probably to do is, you know, not, not use any of the products with gold in it. If you're somebody that's on the border and unsure and you kind of like to, um, again, I'd probably leave that up to the person themselves because, you know, everybody's going to be different. Me, mm. I don't know. I, I mean, if later it comes back and haunts me, it does. I guess I'm one of the people that's a little more of a risk taker on some stuff. Not everything, not everything, but you know, yeah, I, I don't know. I just, I'm seeing results under my eyes. Now, like I said, for gold, if anything, I can see the luminosity the glow and all that kind of stuff. It would give a person, it would, I could see that part for the other effects. I don't know. I know what I see under my eyes and the difference I see under my eyes. So I don't know if I can say it's gold or the gold or not, or if it's other products that's in there. If I was able to afford them, I would probably try the other products out, some other products, definitely. I mean, if I was somebody that could afford it, yeah, I would try some of the other products out. And honestly, in all honesty, if I was somebody that was able to afford to buy the products like you know myself i would stick with the eye creams for sure i don't know so much about the cleansing oil i mean i think it's nice but the eye products is the seller for me so yeah that's my thoughts on the products that was sent to me from gold elements i will put down below if you want to that's totally up to you i'm just putting it down below if there is anybody interested that might want to purchase something, try something. Like I said, there's stuff even for the body and nails and stuff. I will have a 20% discount code. I don't get anything for it. It's just some, a code that they gave to me. I hope that was helpful. This was very, very, this is probably the toughest review I have ever had to do. Honestly, this is probably the toughest review I've ever had to do. And it was all because of the controversy and, but we're going to have that. So, this, it, it was a hard one, but I wanted to be fair on all levels of what I found in my own, for my own self. Like I said, each one of you are going to be different in what you feel. So I say go with what you feel. If you're getting products, other products, if you're not getting gold elements and let's say, you know, Peter Thomas Roth or any of those companies and putting them gold masks on, go for it. You know, if you're a little nervous of doing it, you know, there's, there's a lot of other products out there that do a lot of good benefits and a lot of masks and everything. So yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate that. If you did find this helpful and did like this video, please give me a thumbs up. That helped me out so much and get me out there more. And uh, yeah, let me continue on doing some of the videos for you guys. Also, if you are not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you. You can go ahead and click the subscribe button down below and you can join me each week. I would love to have you. And as always, beauties, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you take care. I will see you then. Love you. Bye.